What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again back with the Banger Today, guys, on another Got Em Early of the Jordan 1 Baron. Hey, guys, I need to make a quick change real quick, all right? Give me a second in three, two, one. What's going on everybody, man? Today we got a couple of pickups to bring to you guys and girls out there. Before that though, we do have a lot of new items over on twowildscloset.com. Go and check it out. A lot of dope stuff, a lot of great prices, and majority of the stuff is dead stock or more than likely worn once if the most three times. So keep that one in mind. First things first though, let's get into the first shoe that we got today. And these actually release in a couple of days or a couple of weeks from now. And this is a new colorway of the Nike Dunk in the medium olive. Now, you know, Dunks right about now are probably one, if you haven't seen the video recently, one of the most easiest sneakers right now to get below the retail price point. Now this one in particular, I picked up because I actually like this colorway a lot. It is a olive and like a medium, is it medium brown or medium olive? Medium olive slash hemp summit white Nike Dunk Low Retro Premium. And I really like this overall like it's just a little bit something different you know i like my earth tones i've loved my earth tones for quite some time and you know i've kind of slowed down on picking up nike dunks because i already have enough to begin with but um for the most part this particular pair i did like a lot and it is going to be releasing i want to say the release date on this one i just went and checked and there is not a release date yet for this supposedly this just says fall 2025 over on sneaker bar detroit but i would think that more than likely it may be releasing sometime this month the retail on this though is 125 dollars so you know it being a little bit higher than your typical nike dunk it could be a shoe that more than likely could down the road you know when it initially releases a couple pairs sell then some lingering sizes go on sale for maybe, you know, right now Nike Dunks are going as low as like 90 bucks over in secondary markets like StockX. This particular pair though, I liked a lot. Does not come with an extra set of laces, but something clean, good quality, good craftsmanship, good colors. Now, speaking of Nike Dunk, we also got another one in hand. Now this one is actually pretty dope and this is the Nike Dunk Low City Attack. Now, back in 1999, there were tons of Nike Japan exclusive Nike Dunks that had dropped over that period of time. And we've been seeing more and more of those now coming back and retroing as GRs and being available to us now to the public that were once Japan exclusives. Like recently we had those Ultramans, which were another Nike Dunk Low Japan exclusive. We also had the reverse Curries, which were the Curries, but then they made like a reverse Curry and then you have these now as well, which are also kind of like a reverse city attack because the original city attacks that dropped were actually red here and navy here. So they swapped the colors once again, and it was a pack that had the navy and the red on the low top, and then they had a reverse city pack that was a white and purple. I think I've been saying city pack, my bad, city attack. I know it's kind of weird me saying reverse city attack on those when in reality, these are kind of like a reverse city attack because these look like them, but the colorway have been swapped around now these are actually sitting right now on Nike if you are interested in these check out the link down below in the description because they are available right now and these in particular retail for hundred and fifteen dollars real nice colorway if you're a Braves fan like me you already know what time it is maybe you're a Texans fan I, I don't know Cleveland Indians I mean you name it there's a lot of colorways that uh, can go along with this particular color palette that I like these a lot. I like them. And then last but not least, guys, and this is my first time seeing them in hand with y'all, that is the Jordan One Low Baron. Whew. I, I gotta take that back. There's not really a woof with this one. Usually woofs mean like this shoe is like crazy. It's, it's phenomenal, it's fantastic, right? It's a pretty basic shoe and I can already tell like from from my standpoint, this is gonna be a shoe that 
more than likely going to hit the sale market. Now, that's just my opinion. I mean, right now, these are set to release on July 20th for a retail price point of $140. Now, I do like the Baron series. Like, the Baron series has been going on since 2014, as far as, as I can remember going back. And then, you know, me starting YouTube in 2013, 2014, a year later, you had the Jordan 9 Barons, and then you had the Jordan 1 Baron. Matter of fact, let's roll my clip of my Jordan 9 Baron commercial. Uh, I was really caught up into that whole thing of, of baseball and, and learning about it and dealing with the, you know, what I had to deal with, you know, the, the new players who were 10 years younger than I am, maybe some 11, but yet they had an attitude towards the game that they truly loved because it was just a game. It was a dream that they were fulfilling. And again, Opage. I kind of lost that in, in the rim of, uh, of what was happening to me with basketball. Steps in for the fourth time, two of his first three. I mean, I, I was on a pedestal for so long that I forgot about the steps to get to that. And I think that's, that's what minor league baseball did to me. Fly ball deep to left again. Ratliff going back at the warning track, looking up. And it is Gonzo Jordan. He's done it. Every time I step on the diamond, I mean, he's with me wherever I go. Even though he's not here physically, he's here with me mentally and you know, spiritually. So yeah, you know, the Barons has been around for quite some time. The nine, the one, if you don't know, the Barons is the double A team for the White Sox that Jordan played on. You know, he was signed to the White Sox and then went to the double A league. Uh, I actually have a Barons jersey. I was like, I thought about wearing it for this particular video, but I was like, nah, because I more than likely will still do a review on this shoe. But you have it here, a Baron low. And there's been a lot of Barons though that dropped. There's been, like I said it before, the nine, the one, there's been like one, um, the, the Jordan one mid or low, you know, the ones that have, the other Jordan ones that have like the jump man on the tongue, that's not really like the OG lows. They dropped a lot of barren colorways throughout the year, throughout the years, I would say. Also, you have the Jordan nine, you know, the baseball glove that kind of pays tribute to that as well. So they've played a lot into MJ's uh, MLB career, you could say. Comes with an additional set of laces. As far as the shoe goes itself, I mean, it's not a horrible looking shoe. It's like, so when I say like it going on sale, that doesn't have anything to do as far as what is wrong with it, but it's a very, very neutral shoe where with neutral shoes, you might already have a shoe that kind of occupies this color palette being white, gray, and black. But overall, I mean, it's a shoe that you can pretty much rock with a lot of things out here. The quality of the leather is pretty typical of a Jordan 1. I don't see anything extravagant or crazy for the most part. So with that being said, you know, this is a basic Jordan 1. Now, 140 is a little bit better than 180. So more people may be after this shoe. But we've seen the Jordan 1 low shadow drop recently this year. It did okay. I think it did, though, go on sale for a lot of stores out there. So I don't expect these to do anything more than that because in my opinion if you're talking about jordan one lows aside from like travis scott's i mean like the shadows is probably one of the better colorways of drop of this year and even that shoe you know did not go and just fly off the shelves really nice colorway really dope shoe but even that a shadow one which is you know one of the ogs uh it still had issues going completely sold out so with this one in particular, the Jordan 1 Low Baron, I kind of suspect a very similar outcome. The shoe itself though, as stated before, the actual colorway on the box, it says white slash black, wolf gray, Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG 8.5. You can see it has that black and white box. Very same exact box from my standpoint of what we got with the Jordan 1 white and black that released earlier this year as well. You have the Nike Air on that tongue and silver. You have also a black insole with a gray or that wolf gray Nike Air on the back with the flight. You have the Air Jordan, which seems to be slightly now debossed. I don't know if every single one of them have been like that lately, but it's something that's just caught my eye right now. You have a little bit of texture, a little bit of feel on the back of that shoe now where that Wings logo. Some people have been, you know, saluting the people in the comment section saying, Tony, to stop saying the flight logo. I I've, I mean, I, I get it, it is a Wings logo, I've always called it the Flight logo, but if, you know, maybe I'm wrong, I'll, I'll correct myself, you feel me? But uh, Nike here on there, you got 
that wolf gray on the bottom, wolf gray on the side. All the leathers for the most part seem to kind of have a very similar texture and feel. A slight tumbleness going on, but for the most part, it's pretty buttery smooth from different other parts. Like right around here, you can see a little bit of tumbleness going on, but a very, like I stated before, neutral colorway. I don't have an issue with it, but it's not something that I need and a lot of people may not need as well. Very similar on a color palette as far as that shadow, except the shadow was a little bit more black. This is like white with that gray from the shadow. So if the shadow did what it did, I kind of expect this to follow the same lead. And checking it right now over on Stock X in particular, the ask for the shoe is sitting at that 140, 145 price point. So right now, currently, for a shoe that's gonna be releasing, what I wanna say about, that's about next week or so, it is able to be bought at retail plus all the fees and shipping, which will put you around that 160. So I kinda suspect that number to more than likely drop a little bit. Another reason being when checking out the last sales on the shoes, ask are one thing, sales are another, and sales speak for themselves, you know, that kind of sounded real nice, but the sales on this shoe have been sitting below that retail at like 120, a couple of 135s, a couple of 140s and 145s, but for the most part, majority of them been hitting below the retail price point. I think the last one in particular I saw was at 122. So with that being said, be on the lookout. You know, we'll do a review. We're going to do its justice for this particular shoe, the Jordan 1 Low Baron. Be on the lookout July 20th, 140. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And then as always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I will see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.